Hello, I'm Matt Mazur from Liquid Fungi, and today I'm going to show you guys how to inoculate rye berries without an injection port. This is mycelium, or some say mycelia. Substrates we're preparing them. Liquid culture we're making some. Injection ports in your area, cause this is mycelium. So the first thing you're going to need is you some supplies. You're going to need 70% isopropyl alcohol. You're going to need a roll of tape. You're going to need a paper towel. And you're going to need a liquid fungi, liquid culture syringe, which can be purchased on our website at liquidfungi.com. Now with these supplies, you should be able, with one syringe, you should be able to inoculate uh, nine to 10 ryeberry bags. I usually do nine, so I put a little bit more in each one. As you can see, I'm working in a horizontal uh, flow hood here. We also have a vertical flow hood over here, but today I'll be using the horizontal. It's easier for me to stand up at and uh, you know quickly get through the ryeberries. This is a very fast process. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe down this entire counter. So we're gonna move these ryeberries over here real quick. Got these dishes and sticks. The ryeberries are in the bag. You pour them, you still with the lab. The dark room's way in the back. Our faces are covered in mess. These owners are spraying their hands. There we are. Might get a little loud in here. Gonna pull our flower out. We're gonna spray this towel again. Spray our hands. Make sure you have gloves and a mask when you're doing this, and preferably work in front of a flow hood if you can. All right. So we've got our libraries here. We're gonna open up our liquid culture syringe, which comes with a sterile, individually packaged needle. Go ahead and take that out too. We no longer need this. Now, I set these right here, we're gonna wipe down the syringe. Wanna wipe down everything. The more particulates that you can get rid of before you even attempt to inoculate, the better. If you don't have a flow head, just make sure you wipe down and spray it with Lysol or alcohol really, really good. So now that I've got this ready, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the spot I'm gonna be injecting on each bag. Like this. And I'm going to be ejected right here in the center. Now, once you wipe these, we don't want to remove them from the area of the flow hood flowing in. What I'm going to do is I'll open up my syringe here. I will not touch anything on the inside of this package if you notice. There we are. And now we're simply going to start moving through these. Now the first thing that we got to do, we make sure we got to do this, is this tape has been exposed to free air, and uh, it's not clean, so what we need to do is remove the first bit of tape there. Because now everything coming out of the flow hood is particulate free. We want to remove every, all the tape that has any particulates on it. Now it's fresh, clean, sterile tape there. As long as it sits in front of the hood, it'll stay that way. All right, so now we wipe down all of our bags. I give them one more quick little wipe. We take our syringe, which we've already shaken up. And I just put a little bit in the center of each one. There we are. Now we take our clean sterile tape. And I just go over each hole. Making sure to seal the hole tight. I make the tape a little bit longer so that way it has good stick and stays on there well. This is not hard, and this is about 99% effective. We have very few contaminated primary blocks here for our green spot. As long as you're really adamant about the cleaning and working in front of a hood, this is the 100% way, effective way of doing this. So there you are. 
very simple, easy way to inoculate libraries without an injection port. Using scotch tape, in a flow hood, low bit of alcohol, paper towel, that's all you need. Not tough. I find this easier than injection ports. I find that injection ports, when you use them, they tend to uh, get pulled off or beat air. I, I have a lot more failures with injection ports than I do doing it this way. This is simpler, these bags are cheaper, the tape is cheap, injection ports are expensive, and to buy the bags that have injection ports is very expensive as well. These are about 20 cents a bag, and the injection port bags are $1.25. So, a lot more money to buy those bags. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure you visit us on liquidfunger.com. Peace. This is Maselli Yum. Well, some say Maselli Ah. Some straights were preparing them. Liquid culture, we're making some. Injection ports in your area. Cause this is Maselli Yum. For these strains and we carry them. Lines made of this area. Yeah, it's hard and I'm telling ya. Cause this is Maselli Yum. Looks the same in the mason jar. So what are you tripping on? Cause these won't be pinning long. Cause this is my celly yum Or some say my celly ya Looks the same in the mason jar So what are you tripping on? Tripping on. Tripping on.